What's good, everybody? It's your man, CJ Kyles, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse, checking in once again, back with another video. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. So, for today's video, I'm going to respond to a question that was asked in my comments. And the video said, well, the, I'm sorry, the question was, how do you balance going to school and working at the same time? And I said, wow. That's a pretty good question. And I did address it in the comments with how I did it. But I said, you know what? Let me go more in depth about how I did that. So let's talk about it. You can live pretty well by yourself. Okay. So you're either thinking about going to LPN school and you want to figure out how you can work your job and go at the same time, or you've been accepted and you are trying to figure out how to go about things. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing I can do is give you my perspective. But before I give you my perspective, I am going to respectfully ask you to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because unless YouTube know what we're doing over here, it's free, it don't cost you nothing. And also hit that notification bell so you don't miss none of the content. Now let's continue back to our regularly scheduled program. Now it's my stuff looking crazy and I'm leaving that in there but <laughs> um, so yeah man you just got accepted here's the thing you have to understand that LPN school is a very intense fast paced program if, especially if you are in one of those programs to where it's it's accelerated it's not at a community college it's a, it's a, a, it's a whole year program so you have to understand that it's very accelerated, it's intense, it's not easy, and it's not for the faint of heart. And I'm not saying that to discourage you or to make you feel scared or anything like that, but I'm just saying that to keep it real. When I went to school, the lowest score you could get on the test was an 80%. An 80%, that's a B, ladies and gentlemen, a B. You can't do no lower than that, or you did not pass that particular test, quiz, whatever you wanna call it. So. That is the kind of pressure that is placed upon you when you do decide to go to nursing school. Now, I do understand that some of you may be in situations to where you have to work, you may be in the household, holding it down, uh, your family depends on your income and everything like that. And I understand that those situations are out there. And I'm gonna speak on that, but I can only really fully speak on the situation that I was in now, I decided to go to nursing school around uh, 26, 25, 26, whatever. And I have no kids. And at the time, I was in a situation to where I did not have to pay any bills. So, um, they were like, you can go. Mom was like, you can go to nursing school. You ain't got to pay no bills, no nothing. I got you. But no, I decided to go to work anyway. I worked two jobs probably unnecessarily i didn't have to do that but i chose to do that and i'm going to tell you what i did to balance work and school how to balance work and school first things first get a calendar and plan out what you are doing for that day as a matter of fact plan out what you about to do for the week like week by week get you a calendar plan it and write things down you need to write things down because when you have it in front of you it gives you an idea it gives you a roadmap of what you need to do and it keeps you focused it keeps you focused on that goal i personally believe you should all keep a calendar because it keeps me focused as well so get your calendar second of all you need to dedicate two hours at minimum a day to study when you go to work you work do what you got to do if you get a lunch break you'll be looking at note cards or listening to lectures go back to work come home eat your little dinner kiss your wife or your girlfriend or whatever you got going on uh get in the shower use the bathroom and get those two hours in to where you can study work and school have to be your main priorities at this point forget all that going to hang out with the folk with the dudes and the fellas ladies forget all that going to get your nails done every week and your edges done every week and all that kind of stuff that's out the window for now now well you still want to keep yourself looking nice but um 
all that hanging out unnecessarily, you can cut that out for about 11, 12 months. And your friends and your homies and your girls, they should understand. You tell them like, look, I'm trying to do something right now. I'm trying to get it popping. I see gas prices is going up. I see the price of chicken is going up. I gotta get it together so I don't be out here starving. I'm trying to uh, get me a nice little Birkin or whatever you're trying to do, get you some Ferragamos and be on a trip on a cruise or something like that. But in order to do that, we gotta get this popping. Let them know that you are investing your time and your energy into getting this done, boys and girls. This is a priority. So work, lunch break, study, work come home wash up talk to your wife kiss your kids then get your two hour block in get your two hour block at minimum in and then you go to bed those need to be the number one and two priorities in your life and i know some of y'all got kids you know your kids come first obviously but you know but besides that those need to be number one you feel me so <clears throat> number two on your off day that needs to be totally dedicated to studying and work. Well, not work, but studying and resting. Now, if you want to take one day off, maybe two days off to where you don't have nothing to worry about, but don't let no more than two days go by and you ain't looked in your book or studying no notes. Cause I do realize that the mind needs to rest sometimes, but don't let no more than two days go by. When you, on your off days, you need to be grinding it out with study and resting. Study, rest, study, rest. When you're not working, study and rest. That is very important information. You will thank me later. Number three, let me see. Cut out all unnecessary distractions. Like real talk, real talk. Cut out all unnecessary distractions. Cut out all the, like I said before, all the hanging out, all the drama out your life. You got to let that go for a year. Because trust me, you are going to have enough drama in school as it is. And enough stress as it is. You don't need any extra added on stress to survive that. You did. Only thing you need to worry about is work in school. And let me talk to my young people who maybe just graduate from college. Uh, not college, but maybe just be graduating from high school and maybe still living at home with parents and anything like that. Listen, if you don't have to work while you are in school, then don't work while you are in school. Real talk. Make that your number one priority. If you have the luxury of staying at home while you go to school and you don't have to pay any bills or anything like that, you need to take advantage of that opportunity because it's absolutely silly to add on stuff to your plate and you don't have to. Don't be like me. Be smarter than me. I didn't have to go to work if I didn't want to, but I was gonna work anyway, cause that's just what I do. But if you don't have to, then don't do it. Like real talk, it's so unnecessary if you don't have to. Now this is really for the people that have to work. So if you have to work, make sure it's, I ain't gonna say work as less as you can, but make sure you work enough to where your bills is paid, and you can really study and you don't have to really worry about that. So I will say that. Make sure you you have everything in order. Make sure you have everything in order. So a real talk. I know some of y'all have families, some of y'all have kids, and y'all may not have no support system. I would definitely say, and I don't have kids, so I'm only speaking of it to the best of my ability, but Definitely try to get your situation in order before you start nursing school because let me tell you something in nursing school They don't really care Either you pass or you don't I mean don't get me wrong you got some teachers that care and then you do have resources that will help you out with certain situations but to me it is best to get your stuff together and have your priorities in order way before you start nursing school so you don't have to worry about none of that extra stuff and so you can have somewhat of a less stressful time because you don't want the outside stress to be so piled up on top of the stress that comes from nursing school. It's not a good combination. I've seen people and what happens when they go through that. It's not a pretty sight. So if you can, please, please, please get it in order. You'll just be saving yourself a lot of, a lot of drama and time. So I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. 
cut out all unnecessary distractions. If you don't have to work or pay bills while you're in school, don't do it. But if you do have to work and pay bills, work and school need to be your number one and two priorities. You dig what I'm saying? It needs to be number one in your life. As far, you know, and if you got kids, your kids and wife, all that come first. But, you know, that needs to be a very, very close second. Because, like I said, this is an investment that you decided to take to better your situation. So, oh, I got one more tip for y'all. If you are an audio learner, if you learn best by listening to things, like I love podcasts and I love listening to audio books and all that kind of stuff. I really uh, understand information best by listening to it and listening to it over and over again and letting it get in my subconscious. If that's you, take you a recorder, invest in you, invest in an audio recorder, take it to school, record all your lectures, and then listen listen back to it when you clean in the house, if you're at the gym, or whatever the case may be. I promise you, that ish works. That ish works. And if you can. So one thing I did was... I would take the audio, not and you don't have to do this. This is a little extra, but it just helped me. I would take the audio, upload it to the computer, and put like a music track, a very light music track in the background, put it back on my audio device and listen to it like it was like a as if it was like a real like podcast. It worked, it helped, maybe it'll help you if you're trying to be savvy with it. That's totally unnecessary. You don't have to do that. But that's what helped me. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That is it. This is how you work and go to school at the same time, at least from my perspective. If you have any tips, tricks on how you can work and balance school, please leave it in the comments. I would love to talk to you. Let's have a conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, I bid you adieu. But if you don't do nothing else, if you don't do nothing else. Please get paid. Young nurse, get paid. Peace.